Hi friends, my name is Jay, and I am a new contributor here on Gender Queer Chat. Uh, this is my first week posting, um, so I was given kind of free reign to introduce myself, to explain a little about, bit about how I identify, and uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of cover a topic that was talked about uh, a few months back. So, like I said, my name is Jay, I'm 30 years old, I live in the Philadelphia area in Pennsylvania, and um, my identity is gender fluid, and I also identify as pansexual. Uh, and the topic that I want to talk about, um, they covered, I think, back in September. And basically the question was asking the contributors to explain how they navigated coming to terms with their genderqueer identity versus um, a, a male-to-female or female-to-male trans uh, identity. So... Basically, from the very beginning of my life, as early as I can remember, um, I, I knew I was a little bit different. Um, I was always interested in girls' things. I wanted to play with dolls. I wanted to wear my sister's dresses. Um, and, you know, as I got older, uh, sometimes I wanted to play with the boys get in the mud, you know, do those kind of things, and sometimes I wanted to play house with the girls and, and do those kind of things, and uh, as I got older, I, you know, started developing feelings uh, and attractions towards, towards boys and towards girls, and um, I was very bought into the idea of the gender binary. Um, I was totally uh, under the impression that male and female were it. Uh, I had to pick one or the other. So I struggled with um, questioning whether I was trans for years. Uh, from the time I was about 12 or 13 um, until fairly recently, the last couple of years, uh, I constantly battled with, am I trans? Uh should I transition? And, you know, I, I would get to a place where I was like, yes, I think this is it. I think this is the path for me. And then I would be like, nope, nope, definitely don't want to do that. That's definitely not me. That's definitely not where I'm at. And uh, I would bounce back and forth between am I, yes, I am, no, I'm definitely not, maybe constantly. And uh, a couple years ago, I had written a song uh, for a show I was working on with a friend of mine um, for a musical. And uh, the song was essentially parents kind of singing about how they envisioned their son to be. And this kind of building up of, you know, imagining your child and, and how they're going to be and how they're going to grow up and who they're going to grow up to become. And, you know, the song is called Ordinary Boy and, and clearly the boy, the, the character, uh, was not a normal boy. Um, and it kind of sent me, it kind of triggered my need to better define myself and really come to terms with my gender and my sexuality and who I am. And uh, I kind of really disconnected for quite a long time. Um, I fought some serious depression and anxiety. And, uh, you know, I, I really wasn't sure what I was looking for, um, but I knew I needed to find something if I wanted to keep going on because I had just reached a point where I wasn't happy uh, living the life that I was living and being the person that I was and I really couldn't figure out how to be myself and be okay with that. Um, so in the process I researched a lot of trans uh, material and you know 
I had come across the term genderqueer, and, you know, one link led to another link, led to another link, led to another link, and, uh, you know, I started to, to realize pretty quickly that uh, this was was the uh, broad box that I was looking for, that I belonged in. Um, I knew I didn't really feel male. I didn't really fit in the boys' club. I knew I really didn't feel female, and I didn't really fit in the girls' club, but I sort of kind of felt like both. Sometimes I felt more one way. Sometimes I felt more the other way. Sometimes I felt both. Sometimes I felt neither. Sometimes I felt completely alien. Um... And and gender queer fit those feelings, uh, and more specifically, gender fluid uh, fit them even better. Um, when I came across that, it was definitely life changing. Um, it helped me to realize that a <laughs> the gender binary is a social construct that I don't belong in. Um, b that I wasn't alone and that there were other people who felt like me. Um, I lived my life feeling like I was the only person on Earth who had feelings like I did, who who felt like they didn't belong uh, the way that I did, and um, finding those terms and finding community, finding things like the Genderqueer Chat channel um, were, were so enlightening and so life-altering uh, you know, finding that, that empathy, people who understood what I was going through, um, was amazing. And it's really been a great experience coming to terms to that genderqueer identity. And not choosing to go, uh, through any surgeries or anything, um, you know, I, th I know is the right choice for me. Um, as many times as I thought that that was the path that I should take, um, it's really not who I am. Uh, you know, in general, I'm, I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of person. Um, but <laughs> there are, are little things that, that really make me feel more comfortable in my gender identity, uh, that I do. And I, I can do, you know, in a way that is comfortable for me and, and makes me feel all right with who I am and, uh, being able to share those things with, with the people I care about, my friends, my family, um, you know, has definitely just made me feel so much more comfortable in my own skin and just so much happier to be me. Uh, for a long time, I wasn't happy being me. I didn't want to be me at all. And, uh, Coming to terms with my genderqueer identity has completely changed that. So, that's my story about that. Um, a few more fun things about me. Uh, like I kind of alluded to, I'm a musician. If you can't tell from all my fun stuff back here, got my guitar back there. Uh, you know, I uh, play a little keys, play guitar, a little bass, I sing. Um, I like to write music, I compose, uh, I'm working on an electronic instrumental show, uh, for a contemporary dance company right now, I am working on my mo own, uh, modern rock opera <laughs> right now, um, and, uh, I'm doing a little acting, I'm, uh, doing a production of Little Shop of Horrors with a local theater company who, uh, you know, is non-profit, we donate money to different charities and stuff, um, but... Yeah, that's me. It's great to be on the channel. I'm really excited to get started and to uh, to share my insights with the genderqueer community. Um, so thanks, everyone. I will see you on Mondays. And uh, yeah, I was I was asked to ask all you to suggest some topics. We'd love to hear from uh, viewers to know um, what you want to hear about. So good on you. Later. <laughs>